Hi guys, just a quick review here, mainly this item. In fact, before I do that, I'll just <clears throat> very quickly, we're talking about good value items here. You've seen before I've done Harbour Freight stuff. And uh, <laughs> they've got a deal on these calipers. Well, I've got about two, at least two pairs of calipers anyway, but these were uh, not, uh, 10 bucks. And I've compared these with uh, mics and other higher end calipers, and they're extremely good. Most impressed. And just as a spare set, uh, can't really go wrong. Sort of thing I could carry around and not worry too much if they got damaged. Anyway, back to the main item. This is an RPM measuring device. Uh, if you look around on YouTube, you'll find probably, I don't know, I've seen at least two people uh, mentioning this, but I thought I'd just mention it because I've had problems showing the RPMs. I'll go to the lathe in a minute, tell you what I used to do. Um, <laughs> This is uses a laser to uh, actuate or reflect off a marker on the rotating item. The amazing thing is it's 15 bucks, shipping included. <laughs> it's incredible. And uh, I've tried it out, it seems okay, hopefully fairly reliable. Anyway, I'll go to the lathe, I'll just show it to you in action. The figures I had for this machine before were based on 50 Hertz and now of course it's running on 60 through an auto transformer. But my attempts previously to get fairly accurate revolutions was using this setup where I got a drive band off the spindle going to this, uh, it's actually a little generator, makes a very low voltage and that's feeding a meter which is marked in RPMs and I've had to play around with the resistor shunt to try and get something like a usable reading. In fact, it's, <laughs> it's not accurate at the moment anyway. You see the uh, needles come up. I actually got it set up for 300 RPM, which is too low. I'd have to change the uh, shunt resistor. But the problem with it is it's non-linear. It's accurate at this end of the scale, but as the speed increases, because this is driven on uh, variable V-pulleys, uh, it just doesn't cut it, so I wanted to get something a bit more accurate. So, very simple. little stick-on reflective patch, which is actually on the uh, back plate of this chuck. I can put one on the fore jaw later. And then um, we'll run it up. That may or may not have shown. Showing five eighty eight. And when I go to the max speed, it comes out about 1300, but I think I'm going to have to check my motor drive because I'm not getting quite the full range. Anyway, I did that on the uh, main gear, main setup, and the... Uh, what have I done with it? Yeah, just to check, uh, five, well, call it nominal 580, and then uh, the maximum speed maximum speed which is with this uh, lever here which I move backwards and forwards and that's 580 nominal up to about 1300 back gear is uh, 77 to 182 so I'm going to have to do some checking on this but at least I get a what seems to be an accurate reading so for 15 bucks <laughs> incredibly good uh, I'll put the model number of the thing in the uh, description Anyway, thanks for watching.